Welcome to the Mobile Molecular Datasheet Reaction Tutorial. Reactions are stored within Reaction Datasheets. So the first thing we have to do is create one. Now that we've created the reaction sheet, we need to add a new entry. Now we see a reaction scheme which shows a blank reactant and a blank product. First select the reactant and edit the structure using the appropriate button. We're going to draw the dienophile part of the Diels Alder reaction. Now we save the structure and observe that it has been placed inside the reaction. Now the next thing we need to do is add another reactant which will contain the diene. We locate the add reactant icon and that will add a blank second reactant. We edit the structure for this reactant to draw in the diene. Save the reactant and it will now be added to the reaction scheme. Now it's time to provide the structure for the first of the two products. Now this is quite similar to the first reactant in particular. So we select it and press the copy icon and now we select the blank product and press paste. So that gives us a starting point which is partially drawn. Edit the first product structure and carry out the necessary modifications. Now that this is complete, save the product. The second product is just an isomer of the first one. So we're going to copy this onto the clipboard, create a new placeholder for another product. Please zoom the screen so that it fits. And now we're going to paste the clipboard contents onto the second product. And now we need to edit the second product and make the minor modification. The last missing component is the Lewis acid catalyst, which we will add as a reagent. Reagent is a catch-all term in this case for any kind of non-stoichiometric ingredients. Add the new reagent and then edit its name. And now the structure. The reaction specification is now complete. Save the scheme and return to the main menu. And you can see that a new entry has been added under this particular datasheet. 
Reaction data sheets work just like normal data sheets, except each entry is a reaction instead of a molecule. Reaction data sheets can be viewed, edited, exported, and emailed just like any other. This concludes the reaction data sheet tutorial.